Well, two-thirds, can you believe it, of Americans are expected to travel for the holiday. But it could be a tough time with weather, staffing shortages, and high fuel prices, which could make for a rough time on the road and in the air. A live look from Chopper 13 at the roads right now. Today is expected to be one of the busiest travel days of the year. And right now, WJZ Live at BWI Marshall Airport. Christina Mendez walks us through what's happening there and across the country. Christina. Denise and Nikki, I don't want to jinx it, but so far today there's only been one cancellation out of BWI. That's according to Flight Aware. And I took a look really across the country, about 2,300 delays. That is a stark difference from what we were seeing earlier this summer during those major holidays. Here's why. The last holiday weekend of the summer shows people are squeezing in one more trip. Travel booking app Hopper estimates 12.6 million passengers will take to the sky from U.S. airports Thursday to Monday. Alex Carano is a 10-year-old making up the big picture who shares advice to those standing in long security lines. Just wait your tongue like everybody else. It's not that hard. From staffing shortages to Mother Nature's storms, it was a trying time for summer travel. But as the season comes to a close, passengers are met with some help. The Department of Transportation has a new online dashboard where you can compare what airline companies provide people when there's delays or cancellations. We've had pretty good luck so far with our travels and I haven't heard anything. I'm hopeful that it's going to go smooth. For others driving to their destination this holiday weekend, AAA spokesperson Morgan Dean says lower gas prices in Maryland and shorter trips could be behind this preferred method of travel. Still, looking back at this time last year, gas in the state was about 70 cents cheaper. To get your car ready for the road, check your fluid it's battery and tire tread plus pack your patience. Earlier in the day that you can leave or the later in the day that you can leave, you're probably going to be in better shape. Ray Savage says he's hitting the highway from Baltimore to Philadelphia after work Friday and plans to heed that suggestion. No need to rush. Okay, so Looking ahead to fall, we know right now that some airlines are working on filling those pilot shortages and other staffing issues that they've been having. But this fourth quarter that we're about to go into, not as many people are flying, so some airlines are deciding to just say, hey, we're going to cut some of these trips altogether. I'm reporting live from BWI tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. All right, thank you, Christina. And oil prices do continue to drop, and so are prices at the pump. Now, the national average for a gallon of gas, now $3.81 for regular. Here in Maryland, we're paying $3.70 a gallon for regular again. The price of diesel still remains high, close to $5 a gallon.